Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Bold Samurai, my name is Sam, and today we're back playing Destroy the Monoliths. If the last time we played, we uh, finished two more uh, two more worlds. Here as you can see, this, or, uh, yeah. Or I guess two more sectors, I should say. Two more sectors. So now we have this one available, with, which has four monoliths, and that one also has four monoliths. I think we'll go for this one. Give this one a try, see how things go. Um, increase the reload duration of building actions. Increase the base attack damage. That would be pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. And increase it by a hundred. And that that's crazy. <clears throat> Ice is slippery. Okay. Okay. Let's use the use the grenades for mining. Mine out a little bit of the area. I mean, eventually they're gonna, they're gonna break into this area anyway, so I might as well mine it out a little bit. It doesn't hurt. While we're at it, let's uh, mark it. Yeah, I mean, we want to get like an ore generator soon as well. That'd be good. Uh, yeah, let's put that there. Yeah, the ice is really slippery. Wow. I mean, I guess it did kind of warn me, but... Let's see, there's some resources in there. Not a whole lot, but a few. A few resources. Let's see, is there anywhere else I need to worry about when it comes to, like enemies coming because it seems like they're going this way probably gonna show up over here so I'm gonna just put that there wait where are they going now oh they're gonna go around okay so I'm gonna I'll I'll yep see okay there we go now it's fine Okay. We want to get a drill. We want to get a drill. Very soon. Very soon we want to get a drill. The reason we want to get a drill is that so we can have automated mining. need more of the gem stuff, like the green stuff, the land, land guy. That's, I always forget what it's called, but that's what it's called, land guy. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I need to be careful. I want to make sure that they still like have to go like down this pathway. And if I destroy too much of the area, then they're not going to be going down the pathway, so... I just have to make sure that I'm careful about what I do, what stuff I destroy. If I destroy too much of the area, then that could cause some pretty serious issues for me. Oh, enemies are going that way. And then they go around to here. Okay. What's it at? Pretty much all I need to really do is just make sure that I uh, keep 
Oh, shoot. Well, they sh shouldn't be able to go that way, right? No, they can't. Okay. So, yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Get the resources. Oh, okay. Oh wait, did I destroy- Oh, this part did get destroyed. Okay. Um, I don't have a- Um... Can I just put, like, a matter gen- Matter generator here? And, like, that- Does that block it up? I hope it does. Yeah, it does. But now it now this guy's destroying that way. Honestly, you know what? We're just gonna put matter generators around and hope for the best. Because even if it does end up destroying the ore, I mean, at least. At least it destroys the ore, and then it's fine. Let's put a, a tinkerer right there. I think that I should. I think that actually should pay off pretty nicely. I'm hoping. Jeez, the ice. I have to be very careful on the ice. Yeah, for the most part, I can kind of just destroy the outer, outer area. Oh no! How are there enemies getting in there? Is it just? I guess it's just because they're getting past that guy. Which, if that's the case, then let's just put that. Gosh, thanks. The ice is really. Oh my gosh, now that part's broken too. Okay, well, I'll put a matter generator there too. It'll be fine. Let's just open up the whole area. Why not? Let's just open up the whole place. Because they want to just open it up anyway. So why not? Let's just do it. Right there. 
put uh let's, let's put the matter generator there. That hopefully should be enough to kind of block off the pathway and get them to go more this or around to here. Um, shoots if direct sight. Uh, okay. I was hoping the grenade turret would also shoot, like, over, over obstacles, but it's fine. Obviously, it's, obviously it's not a big deal, so. At least they're getting a pretty nice repair from all of this, but yeah. I really need to get to destroying these things because this is becoming a bit of a problem at this point. Get, oh, okay. Yep. Should have known that the guys that could shoot over the walls would be quite the issue. Okay. We do a bit of this really open up the area because there's going to be guys that can shoot over the wall anyways so it doesn't even matter So is my core. Assist minions, shoot the laser areas, arrows. To, uh, go with the bow turn. Okay, there we go. Laser arrows bounce, bounce randomly. Bad idea to kind of keep the laser turrets here because eventually I'm going to need to put. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we may need. We can get away with that because we have automated resources. 
we didn't have automated resources, I would be a little bit more reluctant to put down this many turrets, but... At the moment, I'm kind of fine with it. Things are getting quite powerful, which has me extremely nervous. So we can put it, like, right... Okay. Ooh, the assistance has been broken, decrease of the cost of buildings. Ugh. Minimum CO50 additional health points. Honestly though, decreases the cost of buildings. That'd be pretty good. Three laser arrows at once? Oh. Like, yes, it's decreased health, but... At the same time, it's like... I mean... Imagine having, you know, these things a whole lot sooner. Like, having this, like, you know, twice as, twice as fast. Because now it should be, yeah, now it's so cheap. Yes. Oh. oh my god, this ice is driving me insane. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, are they, like, spreading? What happens? Okay, there we go. I would love some walls, I'll be honest. Oh my gosh. This is insane. This is... You know what? Let's just go for the, the bows. This is absolute chaos at this point. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm actually lagging the game. Which I didn't think I could do. Oh my gosh. Oh 
gosh. There's so much destruction. Ah, I, I, I can't respawn anymore. Holy crap. Things things are getting out of control. Yeah, things, I have a lot of resources though, so I mean, I guess on that, on that front, I'm doing good, but like, oh my gosh. Not sure if I would really consider myself winning right now. I mean, we're down to one monolith, so I guess... I guess you can't really say I'm losing. But... Gosh. This has definitely become just utter chaos. Holy crap. All structures in the minimap, healing orbs, heal for more users. Um honestly I'm gonna go with that, yeah. He's attacked. Uh, 75% more chance to... Eh. I don't really like that one. Here's enemies attack. Go with that. Holy... Hey, that was a... That was... That was very close. Let's go for this one next. Just play it max health. Honestly, we're gonna we need to really increase the health of the of towers. I just want to get enough resources for the ore generators. But you know what? I will put like right over here. You know, actually putting the ore generators kind of out of the way, I think was probably a better strategy than what I was originally going for. And I mean, yeah, even though towers are going to have less health, it's also like, they're, I'm going to be able to get the towers a lot sooner, and just be able to build up a defense a lot sooner as well.
Decreasing their health by 10% was actually a really good idea. Cause yeah, now we're now I'm just one shotting them. Oh wait, I didn't even think about that. The that the decreased health for for buildings would also affect. Cannot build. Oh, I can't build over that part. That's fine. Okay, now I need an automated way of collecting the resources. Once I get that, then we're gonna be we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good to go. Be in a good spot, I think. If I can get that. Try to clear out the area. But... Uh. Nah, I don't. I don't want to clear out the area too much. So obviously, I still need them for them to have like a pathway. To my like to the base that doesn't just result in them getting to it immediately. It appears that I might have done that. Let's put. Out this whole area. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is what I mean like getting resources this early on. Oh, did I put it? Okay, I put it real bad. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a nice size area right here. Just for producing resources. carve out this area a little bit. Because there is a second one right there. So that'll be good to kind of have this area open. So have a bit more real estate to actually put things down, put down towers, things like that. And kind of start chipping away at the at the enemy monoliths. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to grab 
this. All of these reasons. Holy crap. That was a lot of resources right there. Now, I honestly think having all these resources is going to make it a lot easier to make these levels a lot easier. Because I get resources way sooner because everything is so much cheaper. So then I can start actually working on the towers sooner before enemies get to be too strong. So yes, it's like there is decreased health on the towers, but I can I get to put more of the towers down. I get to put them down sooner. And before like before enemies get too much stronger. Those laser arrows are definitely causing some pretty bad lag. They're definitely... Oh, the bow. Oh, wait, okay, never mind. Something else is causing lag. I'm actually not too sure what it is. Originally, I thought it was the, the multi-bow, but now I'm starting to think it might be something else. I think the bow is part of it, but I don't think the bow is the biggest issue. the lag a little bit. Oopsies, hold on. Let's try to reduce the lag. Okay, did that do anything? Not really. It's fine. Amplifier blocks the way. Oh my gosh, that's what I need. Register. Oh gosh. Maybe it's the stuff on the floor. You know what, that might... I think that's the problem. That's definitely the problem. Okay. That fixes everything. All the problems we had originally have just been fixed by the collector.
those defenses there. Automated mining might be a little, a little too strong, at least without the collector. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you need the collector to, re to be able to prevent the lag, I don't know. Uh, it's just, I'm gonna go with that. Walks away. Flex healing, it turns I'm gonna go with a wall. Just to help, like, kind of s section off certain areas. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one, actually. Enemy she shields. Sheets. Um. I'm gonna fit yeah, give me that. Building, sure. So I've destroyed three monoliths, right? Yeah, this should be the last one right here. Look at all the reasons. I'm up to I'm up to a thousand of each resource. Put like tinker down. The amount of resources dropped upon player death. Decrease the cost of building, sure. Why not? Okay, that was insane. Um, next video we'll do these last two, which have five monoliths. But yeah, that was insane. That was that was crazy. Okay. Um. Anyways, my name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of destroy the monoliths. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me in the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.